Hi friends, welcome to testing tutorials point. This is Lokesh and today we are going to discussing about how to install our Selenium so not Selenium, it is a IntelliJ. How to install our Selen uh, IntelliJ into your local system. Why I am telling this particular topic IntelliJ means we need to like, uh, we need to work with the multiple languages when we are working with the Java or Python or some other language, we need to install our two different when you are working with the java we need to install for eclipse when you are using for python we can able to use for some other catalogs or pycharm application uh, ids right to work with this programming languages but here what will happen if we use for intellij we can work with the python as well as we can able to work with the java it will by default to support of multi languages also okay and you need to use whenever you come to here, IntelliJ, you need to search with the IntelliJ ID download. It will give the top of that. You need to click and you need to come. Like you can see here, IntelliJ ID download. And it will at top only, it will display. You need to click. And once you click, it will launch into in this location. There are two things will be presented. One is unlimited and another one is community edition. Community edition is by default. It is a free version. We can able to download this free version. Okay. What are the things it is provided? You can able to see what are the teams it is presented. What is the education things? It, it will provide for end-to-end -end information here. Okay. And if you want some other information, you can able to see here the futures, right? What are the futures it is supporting? And why this supporting? Okay, JVM, Java, it is supporting cat talk, scaly, groovy scripting, and uh, unlimited supporting for develop full stack the web application development. Okay, and JavaScript also it is supporting. Okay, it is supporting framework like a Spring, a Spring Boot, a Jar Boot, and uh, this all the information it is providing. Even you can able to see here, you can work with the programming language including Go, and Python, SQL, Ruby, and PHP. This all the programming it is supporting this IntelliJ. That is a main advantage for here. Okay. And also you can see the easy to integrate with any programming language and creation of the pro project for that particular, like Java, Python, any programming language, very easy. And also Selenium also, we can able to integrate the Cucumber framework, keyword driven framework, all the framework we can able to easily to integrate and easily to work <clears throat> okay and easy setup and project structure also very clear uh, clearly displays and without any mismatching <clears throat> and also if you integrate your your with uh, your git that git location also it will show you in that and the plugin adding also very easy to add it and code snippets, it's very easy. It will display for code snippets. Code snippets means when you write for random, what type of random values it will display. <clears throat> if you mouse over on that particular method, it will display for the entire documentation. This is a snippet. Okay, what exactly that collection can do? What are the things it is written? Those all the information it will display easily. And inspection of that, of context, where are the presented? That is a very easily you can able to click that particular line. And if you enter for control and enter, it will display the structure. Where, where are the uh, this particular snippet are using? This is a one more thing. And inspection, we can able to do very easily for inspection for that particular method. Where is exactly this method is presented? If you use control alt plus enter, it, it will go for directly that location. Okay, the templates also and navigations instead of navigation and searching for both the like, if you want to search enter project level, you can able to only file level you want that also it will help you to search. Okay, running the scripts. Very easy. Okay. And once you do the debug and the debug also it's very easy to identify and steps. What are the steps we run? If you are using JUnit or TestNG or some other uh, PyTest, anything, it will show you what the step by step, what are the steps it is executed, which step it is stopped, and what is the causing <clears throat> for failure. Everything it will display. Okay. 
and the debug mode to identify the elements it is very easy because it will show that what expected uh, condition what actual condition even you can able to run your command into a terminal who are working with the mac the people who they were run into the terminals right the similar format also this intellij will help you to run your command into <clears throat> terminal itself okay if you want to open comma uh, run into the command prompt you need to open separately for command prompt and you need to run right not required for intellij intellij having terminal and there itself you can able to run your code also okay and the code with the snippets it will display step by step values it will display <clears throat> what is the naming convention you can see here the naming conventions name which is a name a surname username which method you are going to use right if you have a person class having a surname and username the first name and last name it will ask show you that when you provide the first name here it, this is a second name <clears throat> like this it will display for detailed compilation time itself no need to <clears throat> if you go any other uh, ids it will not display this kind of information but it will display here version control when you commit your code into a git right git repo which is a local repo code and git repo code repo both it will compare and it will display what all the steps it is displaying like uh, mismatching or adding new code this particular line is uh, your code is uh, like merge conflict is coming you have to remove and you need to add it like that it will display all the things jvm framework also it will support okay you can go ahead for one by one you can see all the information here and the release and everything it will provide and you can search into the this particular features location one by one you can read it okay after that you can after install uh, downloading this file intel id you can double click it will start for execution and it is very easy to install and nothing to worry about it it's a very easy to it's not a, that much of complex for any other ids okay if you want to shortcut for uh, intel is id into a desktop you can able to check mark this one otherwise not required anything just install it once your installation is done you can able to see for finishing of it it's a very easy installation for any comparing to any other ides more advantage all multiple programming language we can work with one single id that is a main advantage here in market some other ids also presented but co comparing to my knowledge this is the one is easy to use it that's it we'll see once it is completion see it started to completion almost it will take only a less time to installation see finished okay then you just to go to here intellij type you can able to see the file and we will see the next video session how to install your you can see do not input any settings also you can able if you want to settings you can use that which directory and where it is not required means you do not import any settings okay okay and then it will give you the community edition which is a version is like a, a presented okay 2022.3.2 2 version it is right now in the market okay you can able to see this is a project we can able to do there are three options new project open project if you want a uh, version control to get the your code you can able to use it here if any customization things if you want you can able to see any intelligent light color it will give the light color if you want dark you can able to use the dark any high controller you can able to high controller okay dark is the best way to see the your code properly and to your os and plugins if you want before anything you want to install the plugins you can able to see and if you want to learn more about it you can able to see here 
okay next video session we will see for how to create our new project into your IntelliJ ide okay this is all about for your IntelliJ installation into your windows system i hope you understand this one please like my video please subscribe my youtube channel and don't forget to share your friends and colleagues thank you